I feel in rural life, we're here at IWA, uh, and it's, it's always a fantastic experience to meet up with all the guys from Gerber. Now, Krista, we've got one or two new ranges for, for this year. Just explain what we have here. Excellent. Yeah, this is uh, the new collaboration between Bear Grylls and Gerber. This is the new Ultimate Survival Series, and this is the key, the key product, the it's featuring superb, product. It? Yeah, it's an excellent product. It's a heavy-duty survival and outdoor knife. It has a full tank construction. It comes with a very grippy rubber handle, so you really got a strong grip in all conditions, also when it's rainy. Uh, other features on this one is the serration on the blade, which makes it easy to, for example, cut rope in a very oh, easy way. goodness me, that's superb, isn't it? It, it, it can be dangerous sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, quite right. Yeah. <laughs> So, so what else is it? Well, on the back of the knife, we have a we have a striking point that we can use as a hammer. Oh yes. Yeah. So for example, if we have a spike like this. Now that is extremely useful, isn't it? It's absolutely excellent in the wild. And also, if you look at, for example, on the edge of the of the lanyard here, we have a rescue whistle, a safety whistle. Oh, that's good built in. Yeah, very so good. So this is the knife only, but it doesn't stop there because the sheath itself it's quite quite extraordinary. First of all, the sheath holds the product also when it's upside down. Yeah. So it doesn't fall out. Superb. Okay. Quick release. That was easy, wasn't it? Is, it? Just it a very, very quick easy. movement. Yeah. It's just you, you don't really have to push it, just just grab it and but take it out. Superb. Yeah. And on top of this, in the field, sometimes you wanna work on your edge. You have a sharpener built in, so you have oh, to it. sharpen the edge yes. also in the field. Yes. And last but not least, the feature we have is the built-in fire striker. So you have a fire steel to make fire in the field. Oh, very cute indeed. So this is, as you might imagine, this is the key product in the in the beer range. This is the top of the notch, top of the end. That's superb, isn't it? Yeah. What it is, and it really, really, it does just fit the hand very. It's a superb weight, super working knife, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So now we've got one or two safety features, um, uh, which are actually on the sheath themselves, aren't they? That's correct. On the back of the sheath, we have the land-to-air rescue signals. So in case of an emergency, you need to signal to, to a helicopter, or an airplane, or something. You have all the signals you need in order for you to, to, to do the right communication. That's, that's a fantastic right. idea. That is the sheath itself. It attaches both horizontally and vertically to your pack or to your belt or something. Yes. But also. With all the Bear Grylls products, we have the priorities of survival. It comes with waterproof, tearproof, Tyvek, so you have Bear's own survival instructions in one piece here. How to make shelter, Very how to useful. make fire, uh, how to make sure what time it is, directions, etc. Et Very useful indeed. Yeah. So Bear Grylls, ultimate knife. Uh, Key product of the range, I would say. Now, uh, when is this available with, with um, all the distributors? This is out now? It's out uh, in the latter part of March, so okay. it's available in stores as from late late March. Fantastic. So we have the, the Prang. Now, this is a fine piece of equipment uh, and, and sort of being designed from, from guys that uh, you know physically use these on a day-to-day -day basis, aren't they? Absolutely. This is designed by the jungle man in the forest. So the angle and the shape of the blade is made to cut through all the limbs and bushes that you have to clear when you're making your way through the jungle. So it looks like this. It comes with a sheath, um, safety, safety lanyard on the end, same design, grippy handle as it, it's kind of a signature on the Bear Grylls range. Yes. Works in all conditions, and the blade looks like this. It's razor sharp, heavy duty, and it's, it really cuts through a lot of wood in each in each bang, so to say. And it's yes. Really, really. Yeah, you can try it yourself and get a get a touch and feel of it. Oh, that's really solid piece of equipment that is, isn't it? Yeah. The, the handle section is absolutely fantastic. Just fits the hand superbly, doesn't it? Correct, and it's a, it's a tactile over mold, it's called, and it's really, it gets this tactile and really, really firm grip also in wet conditions, which is key when you're out in the really, absolutely, in, in, the, in the back. Very good. Now let's just do uh, uh, the, the sheath itself. The sheath itself, it's attachable to to your uh, your belt. Yes. It also has the the again rescue the rescue, rescue signal, yes. land to air rescue signal. So it's really it's really it's one of these things that you can use if you need to get rescued. Yes. 
show, sending some kind of signal what kind of distress you're in, etc. Yeah. Very good, very good indeed. And what and what's the material this is made of? It's it's the uh, it's an, uh, kind of an military grade uh, nylon. Yes. So it's uh, not so, so, so very light but extremely strong. Exactly, that's the key thing. Excellent. So that's the parang. That's the parang. Great. Gerber are renowned for their multi tools. Now, what do we hear? Yeah, this is uh, this is uh, one of the things that Bear has been cursing over his years. Multi tools. He hasn't found really what he's really looking for. But this this now, when he had the ability to work with Gerber to design the ultimate multi tool, this is the result of it. We have rubber inserts on the side. You have to keep it. Nice and, and nice and grippy to hold, as is with all the rest of the products. Uh, all the features are accessible from the outside, except for the pliers, naturally. Oh, yes. So everything you need, if you need a blade, you simply have a one-hand opening blade here, and they all lock into place, which is really important because they won't, they won't cut you, they won't fold back to you, which is a very important feature. Yeah, so they're all locking blades, aren't they? Exactly, and then you just release the lock, and then you but can... But that's a key little release, isn't it? That's, very, that's yeah. very easy to use. Very easy to use, super easy to use. And it has 16 features on this one, so it comes with screwdrivers, it comes with a saw, it comes with uh, scissors, it comes with a bottle opener, a it's pretty, blade. pretty much everything that you and I are going to need, isn't it? Absolutely, both in the wild and also in the backyard. Yeah, 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 it's quite right. Yeah. So this is the one. So for example, you never know, from time to time you need to, you need to do a screw, you simply do like this, fold it, and then you're... Albeit it's a multi-tool, and some of those and some of the actions are quite difficult. That's actually screwing in without any problems at all, isn't it? Absolutely. So that's 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 one of the key features on this one. And naturally, pliers, cutting uh, steel thread. Again, stuff. super set of cutters in there, isn't it? Yeah, and it's spring-loaded pliers, so you don't need to open the pliers after using it. It's it's well, yeah, one yeah, hand. Yeah, the, the action's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So that's the the ultimate multi tool. Fascinating. Do you like that? Yeah. Gerber also have a folding knife, don't they? And this is, I think, this is uh, very interesting. It's absolutely interesting. Bear Grylls is chief scout, so he is the head of millions of scouts around the world. And this knife has been specifically designed for use for Boy Scouts and young Girl Scouts as well. Yes. It's a folding clip knife. It has a back lock, so it won't fold and cut yourself. Like this, one hand opening, no matter if you're right or left handed, you simply open the blade like this, half serrated and half fine edge. So nice very, very, grip. very similar to, to the sheep knife that we've seen, isn't it? Absolutely. And again, this, 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 this wonderful handle mechanism again, yeah. and, and, and a lot of similar characteristics on the blade as well, isn't it? It's the same design on the blade. We have the same finger groove to, to uh, prevent you from sliding to the actual blade, to the cutting surface, and naturally it locks in so you, it won't fold you yeah. and cut you. Yes. So that's the scalp knife, that's the, the clip folding knife that you clip onto your trousers. Also your nice with a clip, knife. yes. Exactly. Yeah. The next level up is moving into the folding sheath knife, which is which is this one. And this one comes even closer to the fixed blade knife yes. we saw earlier. It's the same size. Just the next generation up, isn't it? Just next slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. It's the same features with the lock back function, so it locks in, one hand opening. Uh, good firm thumb grip yes. and also the protection so you don't slide into your bed. Yeah, just uh, and, and j just slightly better for the adults. You can you can certainly see where all the youngsters are going to benefit from this, but still a nice size knife. And then all of a sudden you come up a little bit better in the in, in the palm of the hand. Super working knife, that isn't it? Absolutely, wonderful. We've covered the knives. Fascinating selection of knives, but uh, we've now gone on to survival kits now. This is very fascinating. Can you explain, uh, you know, what we have in the survival kits? Yeah. Pierce's message when he designed these kits were: buy them, stick it in your pack, and you hope you never have to use them. Yes. That's that's kind of the yeah, that's the, the key to it. Yeah. 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 So so we have two kits here. The basic survival kit, which is actually my favorite, contains really what's the most important when you come into a survival situation. It has a small folding knife, which is called a mini paraframe. It has fire steel with striker. So you can easily start yes. fires. Survive or repair paracord. You have small snare wire, a wax thread snare wire if you want to trap animals. Yes. 
emergency whistle, two-tone whistle that, yes. that really you can hear it for miles and miles. Yes. And we have various priorities for survival that also comes with this one. So this is a pocket guide, made of Tyvek, waterproof, tearproof to bring into the wild. Inside, everything is wrapped up in this nice bag that has the signal. And again, see, I like the signal. Yeah, the signal. That's a thing super is. idea. And a waterproof bag with a Ziploc, so it really stays waterproof. Ideal. Super, super size. Put it in a rucksack, carry bag, out of way, no problems at all, isn't it? Exactly. The next step up is the ultimate survival kit. So this contains added features like the rescue blanket, survival blanket, reflection oh, right. blanket. Yes. So if you're in a, you need to stay warm. You simply use it as a blanket yes. around you. Signaling mirror, chainsaw. See, that's an interesting item, it isn't is it? On the cha chainsaw. So, again, so simple, but very, very effective. Very effective. And you just yeah. do like this. So it, it really it really is an effective piece of equipment. Some fishing equipment, if you want to catch some fish, a small flashlight, small torch there. And then we have a, a sewing kit, if you want to repair something on your equipment. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And again, super packaging again. Oh. Signaling, signaling instructions on the back. We have the emergency whistle. Ah, uh, the, uh, key to what we've seen on the uh, uh, the first knife we looked on at, the wasn't it? Knife. Yeah, on the yeah. ultimate knife. And again, we have the priorities of survival included in the pack. Yeah, fabulous. Very good. Now that leads us on to the fire this, starter. The little fire starter. Exactly. It looks it looks kind of different compared to what you see on many fire starters. So again, we see we see the different uh, land to air signals already on the outside of this product. Yes. Take it apart. You have the striker and you have the fire steel on in a really grippy handle. Sometimes you feel like if you want to use the striker on a regular fire steel, it's kind of hard to hold. This one gets you the real good grip to, to create to create the sparks and yes. to create the fire. Now, what's what's in it more? Well, this is a good part. On the top here we have a lid, waterproof, and then you can store cotton for okay. making the fire. So it works like tinder, yes. easy to make fire. Yeah. Everything is stored and wrapped up with the lanyard, and then we have and the back, and back, to, back to the safety issues again, is that correct? Yeah. So this is the fire starter. A fabulous, a, a fabulous range for people that want to go out uh, and, and, and know that if they do get into any difficulties, they've certainly got enough equipment here to, to, to wait for safety for somebody to come and collect them, isn't it? Equipment and also the knowledge so that you know how to use this. Yeah, fabulous. Really good range. Okay. It's been a big pleasure. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.